The Documents tab in your Notebook course is where you can keep all of the resources you want to share with students. When you navigate to the Documents tab, you can then click Add to add those resources. The options are File, Link, and Folder. You can organize the Documents tab by clicking on Folder and creating several folders to put different resources in. You have the ability to change the visibility for all of these items. You can make it public, which actually means it will be visible to all users in your course. Anything you add to your course in Noble is only visible to those within the course. It is never available to others in the university. The other option is private, so only admins, and that includes professors, can see this folder. And then you can also do a delay release where you can set a specific date and time for your students to be able to see it. I'm going to choose public. So now we see I have a folder there. Another thing you can add is a file. It has the same options for visibility. To upload a file, click Attach Files. Find the file that you want to add and click Open. There's also this option with the download settings to disable anyone from downloading the file. Please keep in mind that there are always workarounds for this. Students can take screenshots. Um, they can use other tools to capture the data in the file, but this will just stop them from actually downloading the file itself. So I'm going to click Create, and we can see I just uploaded the class plans there. Another thing you can add to your Documents tab are links to any pages outside of Noble. So you can click Add and then choose the Link option. One thing that I really like to do is think about how Noble can work with other tools like Google Drive. So if you're keeping like a schedule in Google Drive or any materials for your students in there, you can always take the Google Drive link and add it here. So I'm going to switch to another tab. This is a demo of a possible schedule that you could create for your students. I'm going to click on Share. Now for this to work, you need to make sure in Google Drive you either paste all of your student email addresses or when you click this Get Link option, you have it set to anyone at Denison University can be a viewer. So I'm going to copy that link, choose Done. And I can go ahead, put that schedule link right there and name this week to Schedule. I can delay release it until after the first week if I wanted, but I'm just going to make it public and click Create. You could also add links to YouTube videos, uh, to other resources available on the web as well. So now that I have a few resources added to the Documents tab, I can move them around, I can edit them. So let's take a look at that class plans I did. If I choose Edit, I could even add a description for the students there. So these are our plans. Um, I can save it. I can change the title if I wanted. I could move these into folders. So I could move that into the general information folder. I can rearrange how this looks. I can sort it by title, type, visibility. I have all of those options as the professor. One of the newer features that Noble has is you can also see some additional data about if students have opened or downloaded the files. So to do that, and this only works for files you've uploaded, not links, you click the preview button. And then there is this view analytics box up here at the top. If you click there, you can see when students or yourself <laughs> has viewed it or downloaded and it will say the name and the date and time. Other options, if you want to check there, you could do a mass delete if you needed. You could also download. You can search your Documents tab if you have a lot of folders set up. And if you recall earlier in one of the videos, I talked a little bit about this More tab and importing to the course. You can also import documents from another course that you have in Noble by going through that More option, choosing Documents, and selecting Import. And the last feature I'll show you is that you can also share any of your documents or assignments to the bulletin by clicking the little arrow.
You can put a note for your students and you can also decide if you'd like to delay the post to be released at another time. So this is a great way to remind students about readings or reminding them that there's a document they need to take a look at. Just click share and that will post over to your bulletin.